Hi, it's Christy, and I'm here with a video that's going to be all about sending wow toys in your shoe boxes. I was able to research today and find out that there are new lists, as far as what I um, remember from last year, that lists all the wow toy recommendations for each gender and each age group. So I went on there today, I got organized, and I made a list, and then I got some examples of wow toys to show you, to give you some inspiration. I wanted to do this video because when I was at the processing centers, uh, I've been, uh, I've worked at several different processing centers and I was an inspector each time. And inspectors go through the shoe boxes to make sure there's nothing in there that is not allowed. And um, in the process of that, you get to see what's in every shoe box. And I did notice that a lot of shoe boxes come through the processing center without a real um, wow toy. Nothing that, well, the reason we want to have a wow toy is so that when the child opens the box the wow toy will be right on top and the child will go and feel the excitement and the love of Jesus so that way their hearts already being prepared to hear the gospel message that they will get to listen to at the event that is all of our goal that's why we pack shoe boxes that's why we buy wow toys for our shoe boxes so that the children will feel the love of Jesus and want to receive him as Savior so all that said I went on the list today for Samaritan's Purse really wanting to research their wow toy recommendations. And I found out it's kind of been really shrunk down and streamlined. So they had, I wrote down the recommendations on in my notebook and then I, can, I brought them all together in a one small um, spot here. This right here are the wow toys that Samaritan's Purse recommends. And believe it or not, a lot of them are the same for every single group and every sing single um, age and gender. So I'm going to just start out from the beginning here. Uh, what rec what is the recommendation from Samaritan's Purse? And then we can talk about it and you can make some comments below because I'm sure not everybody's going to agree 100% with their recommendations, but I really think it's a great starting point. So. The number one thing that was listed in every single age group and boy and girl was soccer ball. Soccer ball was the number one recommendation for boys and girls. They did recommend sending a pump. I will take this one out of the plastic. This is a Franklin soccer ball. And I would like to add that it would be great if you included extra needles so that because those are so small, they can have some extra ones on hand in case they lose theirs. So soccer balls are great for boys and girls. And the goal would be to put pack it in such a way so that when the lid opened, the child can see the soccer ball and feel the love of the Lord. So that's the number one wow toy according to their list. So number two, this was also in um, all age groups, but it was in the girls category. So this was listed for girls and boys. And this is the examples. I have two boxes of examples for the next category, which was dolls. And so this was for all the girls. Um, in the girls categories, they recommended dolls. And what's fun about the girls is you can do it, um, have different types of dolls depending on the age um, that would enjoy them. So this one, I love her, she's super soft, and she would be great, I think, for five to nine or for the younger girls, two to four. Really sweet, cute, look at, look at her cute face. Um, I love all these dolls. I could just squeeze them and squeeze them. They're so cute. So this is another one, it's a JC doll. She's so cute. She, see now there are some different things to consider because one is bigger than the other. So also this is a nice little two to four year old could cuddle a little doll like this too. I love her. This is your wee Stella doll. I love her. She is wrapped in one of the blankets that Michelle sent and she has her magnetic pacifier. So this is the wee Stella doll. What age do you think that would be great for? I think a toddler uh, shoebox or a five to nine. Really super cute. And I have some more to show you that I picked out from my stash for the older girls. I think Barbies are great for the older girls. This one is in a organza bag and she will have some extra dresses added to her bag here. I think she's a really cute little soccer player. There's a ball in the bottom of the bag. I really love on Blessings in the Shoebox Facebook group. Um, Michelle gives us uh, really the t latest deals and this was one of those and I was so happy to get a soccer ball Barbie, several of them. This is another one that was a great deal that she showed us. 
um, she has her organza bag too in here to be put in, but super cute. I think she would be great for five to nine or a 10 to 14 box. And then those of you that have watched my shoe box packing, especially last, last year, these glitter girl dolls are fantastic wow items. You wouldn't think it, she would fit in a shoe box because she's a little bit longer, but you can watch my videos and see how I fit her in. She just bends in a certain way and she fits great in a shoe box. So I have quite a few of those glitter girl dolls to send as wow items this year. I think that all of these items, when the child opens the shoe box, they'll just feel the love of the Lord. So the next thing that Samaritan's Purse recommends is a stuffed animal, a stuffed animal for every age, boy and girl. They list the stuffed animal. I just do not remember the same recommendations from before. So I'm happy. I'm happy with the suggestion because I think, oh, this is so soft. I think this is a great idea for a child to have um, a plush to feel God's love. This is a really cute one. I love including plush in my shoe boxes. So these are three examples of some really soft um, plush that I think the child would see and really have that wow factor. Okay, let's see. I generally send um, the bigger plush in the younger toy, to younger children's age boxes, but that's gonna be up to you. I do like to send a plush though in every box and usually the boys, they have the soccer balls and I give them a really nice smaller plush. Now the next one on here, oh, this was interesting. It's musical, small musical instruments. They recommended um, a recorder or a harmonica for a wow toy. So I have lots of times included harmonicas. Um, I have not done recorders, but they do come apart so that you can include them in your shoebox. Um, I, I'm not sh positive in my mind that a harmonica is a really a wow item, but I do love including harmonicas in my family's musical. So I think it's pretty cool that they included that in the wow item category. So a musical instrument such as a harmonica or a recorder is another example of a wow item. So then this one has um, the next thing on there for every child for a wow item. They listed it to be an outfit. Now, an uh, outfit on an older boy with pants I think that takes up a lot of room. So I do include t-shirts in my older boy boxes. This is an example of a soft t-shirt from Old Navy that I would include, but that's gonna be for your discretion. If you want to include a whole outfit as a wow toy, they do um, make that recommendation. But for the toddlers, because they're smaller, um, this is an example of a, oh, a wow item. It said whole dress, and then I did have a really cute, oh, it fell on the ground. Oh, headband to go with it. And I think that makes a very special gift for a toddler. So toddlers are easier to fit whole outfits in, um, but that's gonna be at your discretion about putting a whole outfit in for the older child. Then, um, a ne the next thing on the list here that they put for um, the wow toy for every age group except for the toddlers was backpack. So I have examples of backpacks here. I wonder if Christy Graham influenced this decision because um, she really noticed and recommended a while ago before it was on the wow list for us to send backpacks because the children had difficulty sometimes bringing all their things home. And this is, I love this one for toddlers. There's all kinds of backpacks that you can find. There's a variety of different kinds. And I think I really agree um, that it's a super important thing to include in your shoe box. I don't know if it's a wow item. So when the child opens the box, they're gonna say, oh, look at that backpack. Maybe they will, maybe they will. But I do like including it in addition to the other wow, wow toys. And then that, um, there is one more. No, it's, I'm not at the end yet. I have one more. Ah that they recommended from ages five to 14, toy truck or boat. Toy truck or boat. They didn't say airplane. I thought an airplane would be pretty on that same list, but I do have a rocket. I think that is a really great set for five to nine to show you. And then I love these. Even though they're small, they're mighty. You roll them and the top moves and they make a really cool sound. So I do love those for the older boys. This, there's that one, and then there's this one, the hood goes up and down. So things like that, I can see um, a five to nine or a 10 to 14 boy going, wow, when they pull out the special car or truck that they have in their shoebox. 
So that brings me to the end of all that I wanted to show you for my suggestions. There's the, the suggestions are endless. So let me know what you think um, about the new recommendations for WoW toys. And um, if you're, if you would consider, I'm interested to find out if you're, if you would consider sending a soccer ball to a girl. Girls do play soccer. So I think um, I'll be interested in hearing your comments. And let me know if you're gonna do a full outfit for a 10 to 14 boy, or if you're gonna use your wow item on something else that I showed today. So thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And God bless you. May the Lord bless all of us as we seek to spread his kingdom for his glory um, by reaching the children through Operation Christmas Child with the gospel. God bless you and bye for now.